Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Weep Tech Century, and today I'm going to show you how to switch from iOS to Android and how to transfer your contacts, your calendars, and your pictures. So to get started, what you need is a Gmail address. Now, I assume most people already have one of those, but basically that's what you need anyways to get started in Android with purchasing apps from the Google Play Store. But this is also the easiest way to synchronize all your data. So to start off with contacts. Before the smartphone era, most of our data or most of our contacts was stored on the local SIM card. So once you took out the SIM card from your old phone to the new one, you had basically all your information when it comes to contact synchronized. Now, unfortunately, we have a lot more information now. So for example, like email addresses on the contacts, birthday dates. So most of the time, now we have all the data stored on our phones and not on the SIM card. So now we'll have to find a way how to transfer this from the iPhone to your new Android device. The easiest way is probably to just download an app. In this case, this is an app that you'll find on the iOS App Store called Contacts Backup. And this app will allow you to export all your contacts from your iPhone, for example, to Outlook, but also most importantly, to your Google account. And therefore, you'll have all your contacts from your iPhone stored on your Google account in the cloud. So once you get your new phone, you'll just select import the contacts from Google, and then it will import all your contacts that you had before on your iPhone. So that's pretty simple, and that's also how it continues. So next up, we'll talk about the calendar. So it's really important that you also have all your appointments on your new Android device and not only on your old iOS device. So while I haven't found an app that will automatically transfer all of those calendar events to your new Google Calendar, this is also fairly easy by just going to the settings on your iPhone off calendar and then choosing your Google account as your default calendar. So you should probably do that a couple of months or a couple of weeks or at least days before you're switching over to your Android phone. And then every time you'll create a new event, it will automatically be also saved to your Google Calendar. So that means once you get your phone, you just go to Google Calendar and you will have all your appointments there. And that way you don't have to worry about missing an appointment that you earlier had on your iPhone. So last but not least, I certainly want to talk about pictures and videos. So you could go the difficult route and just go to iPhoto or whatever app you're using and then just transfer the files file by file to your new device, your Android phone. But also there's an easier way with just using Dropbox. So Dropbox, for those who don't know, isn't free app, so you'll find it on the iOS App Store, also on the Android App Store. And a lot of Android phone manufacturers these days work together with Dropbox to provide you with extra storage once you bought a phone. So for example, with my HTC One, I got 25 gigabytes of free storage on Dropbox. So on the Android phones, usually you will always back up your pictures to Dropbox. And this works amazingly with the Android phone. So if you take a picture, it will be immediately uploaded to Dropbox. But this also works on the iPhone. So then you can just download the Dropbox app for your iPhone. And then Dropbox will ask you if you want to enable automatic picture upload. And that basically means that you, all your pictures that you have on your iPhone will be uploaded to Dropbox. And then you can use the same account on your Android device. So all those photos will merge to one. And then you'll have access from the Dropbox app on your Android device to access to all the pictures that you, for example, took on your iPad or also on your iPhone. And so you don't have to worry about features like photo stream because you can just merge them all together, have Android photos, have iOS photos all together in one place. And especially if you have 25 gigabytes of storage, you never have to worry about running out of space. And this also ends my video. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you want to see more videos about this topic, just let me know in the comment section below. For example, how to transfer reminders or things like that, to-do lists. Just write it down in the comment section down below and I'll be glad to make those videos. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button or also hit the like button below this video. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see my next one.